Isang paalaala, ang susunod na kabanata ay naglalaman ng mga salita at pahayag na maaari magdulot ng takot, pangamba at pagkabahala sa mga nakikinig, lalo na sa mas nakababatang gulang. Huwag magpatuloy kung kinakailangan. Ito ang mga kwentong bumuo ng ating nakaraan. Mga kwentong unang narinig sa mga lublub na lugar o sa mga pinakatagong bulong-bulungan. Dito ay pag-uusapan natin ang mga kwentong kababalaghan at misteryo na humalo sa kultura, kasaysayan at kamalayan nating mga Pilipino. Ang ating campsite ay isang safe space at bukas para sa lahat ng mga gustong makinig o kahit gusto mo lamang tumahimik at magpahinga. Ako si Earl, ang New Pong Camp Master, at ito ang Philippine Camper Stories. Tuloy po kayo sa ikaanim na putlimang gabi ng San Telmo Society Radio at sa ating month-long celebration ng ating third anniversary. Kumusta ka na? Sana'y napapakinggan mo ang episode na ito sa maayos na kalagayan. Kung ito man ang una mong best na makinig sa ating podcast o isa ka sa mga regular campers na nakikinig kada episode pero hindi pa nakafollow, ay hinihiling ko na sana i-follow mo na ang Philippine Camper Stories Podcast at kung magustuhan mo ang episode at ang show na ito ay bigyan mo na rin sana ng 5-star rating. Importante ito para sa mga shows na gaya ng Philippine Camper Stories para mas lumawak pa ang audience reach natin at mas marami pang makapakinig sa ating programa. Mas maraming makakapakinig sa atin ay mas maraming support na ang ating makukuha para mas magtagal pa ang ating show. Ang San Telmo Society Radio ay ang listener story segment ng Philippine Camper Stories kung saan pinapakinggan natin ang mga totoong kwento ng kababalaghan at pagtataka mula mismo sa ating mga tagapakinig. Ang una nating kwento ngayong gabi ay mula kay Seth. Pakinggan natin ang kwento niya. Hi Camp Master, isa po ako sa mga silent listener ninyo. Napakinggan ko na din po lahat ng episodes sa Spotify. Itago niyo na lang ako sa pangalan na Seth. Gusto ko lang pong i-share ang experience ko from 2017. 18 years old ako noon nung nag-start ako mag-work sa Bataan. Pero originally, from Nueva Ecija po ako. Itong story ko po ay about sa apartment na tinitirhan ko sa Bataan. May kasama po ako sa apartment noon na itago na lang natin sa pangalang Nina. Pang umaga po ang pasok ko, samantalang pang gabi naman po ang shift ni Ate Nina. Madami na po silang nabanggit sa akin na kwento tungkol sa apartment na yon dahil lahat ng katabi naming apartment ay mga taga Nueva Ecija din lahat at lahat kami ay magkakakalala. Nakwento din po nila na may nagpakamatay daw sa mismong apartment namin, nagbigti. Pero hindi po ako naniniwala dahil alam ko po na tinatakot lang nila ako dahil bago lang ako doon at mag-isa lang ako tuwing gabi sa apartment. This started one day na nakapag-inuman ako sa birthday ng katrabaho ko. Pero hindi po ako masyadong uminom dahil dahil mababa ang alcohol tolerance ko. Mga apat o limang tagay lang ang nainom ko nung gabing yun. Pag uwi ko ay wala na si Ate Nina. At dahil medyo hilo na din ako, nag-decide na ako matulog agad. Na naginip po ako. Natutulog daw po ako sa lapag ng mismong semento. At may narinig po akong pumapaswit sa may likod ng apartment. Just a quick note po sa likod ng apartment ay puro puno ng buko. Sa panaginip ko ay nagmulat ako ng mga mata dahil sa paswit. Pero bago pa ako makabangon ay may biglang humila sa ako. At dahil sa gulat ko ay nagising din po agad ako. Panaginip lang pala. Nasundan pa po yun. After ng work ay lagi akong nagtatambay sa rooftop ng apartment namin. Dahil dun lang po may malakas na signal. Pero may eerie feeling po. Palagi pag doon ako nagtatambay. Pero dahil hindi naman po ako matatakotin, ay pinagsawalang bahala ko na lang. One afternoon, after ko tumambay sa rooftop, ay bumaba na ako para matulog. Dahil hinihila na ako ng antok. Agaw dilim po yun dahil sunset nung bumaba ako sa rooftop. Nakatulog naman ako agad dahil sa antok. Napaniginipan ko po yung sarili kong natutulog sa kama. Pinanood ko lang ang sarili kong natutulog pagkatapos ay humiga daw po ako sa katawan ko. 
at pagtingin ko sa taas ng kisame ay may nakadikit doon na babaeng nakaputi na mahaba ang buhok nakatitig sa akin pero hindi ko maalala ko nung itsura niya nagising po akong umuungol dahil sa sobrang takot after that incident po ay palagi na akong nagdadasal bago matulog may nakasama po akong tumambay sa rooftop noon si Kuya Marlon kapatid po siya ng may-ari ng apartment ang alam ko po ay papunta na siyang Manila para magtrabaho pero one afternoon before siya lumuwas ng Manila ay nilagnat siya ng sobrang taas Dinala siya sa ospital pero ang sabi lang daw po sa doktor ay common flu lang daw po yun. Hindi na daw po sila nagpa-admit nung araw na yun at umuwi na lang. Naniniwala po sa mga albularyo ang kapatid ni Kuya Marlon na si Ate Jeng na siyang may-ari ng apartment. Kaya nung araw din na yun ay nagpatawag po sila ng albularyo. Nakita daw po ng albularyo ay may nagkagusto daw pong nilalang kay Kuya Marlon. Babae at mahaba ang buhok. Kinilabutan po ako nang malaman ko yun. Pero never ko po itong isineer sa mga kasama ko sa apartment dahil ayaw kong magkos ng takot. After po nun, ay nag-decide na lang po akong umalis sa apartment. Pagkatapos po nun, hindi ko na ulit nakita o napanaginipan yung babaeng nakaputi. Yun lamang po at sana po mabasa ang story ko. Madami po po akong isashare pero sa susunod na lang. Salamat at God bless. Seth Ayan, hello Seth. Uh, hindi na ako nagugulat kasi palaginip story na naman. Konti na lang talaga bangungot society na talaga yung dapat na maging pangalan ng segment na ito. Pero um, sino kaya yung babae sa panaginip ni Seth? At yung sinasabing babaeng nila lang na nagkagusto kay Kuya Marlon na sabi ng albularyo. Anong tingin mo sa story na ito? Salamat, Seth, for being part of the San Telmo Society at aabangan ko ang mga sagot ninyo sa Q&A portion ng Spotify channel natin. Sa ating pagbabalik, isa pang kwento ang ating maririnig. That and more, coming up next. sa pagbabalik ng San Diego Society Radio ng Philippine Camper Stories. A few episodes ago, nakasama natin si Patty na nagkaroon ng weird experience sa kanilang bahay sa Canada. Today, another camper reached out to share his story galing sa Toronto. Huwag na natin patagalin pa. Tawagin natin si Larsen. Hello, Larsen. Hey, Camp Master. My name is Lars. Um, originally Hi. from Cebu, living mm-hmm. in Toronto, Canada. <laughs> Ayan. Welcome to the San Telmo Society Radio segment. So, how are you doing today? Doing well. Salamat sa pag um, invite sa akin dito. Thank you for reading my story. Right now, here, it's summertime, Simon. So, medyo mainit, um, but doing really well. That's good. That's good to hear. And uh, medyo kakaiba kasi bihira tayong magkaroon ng bisita dito na nagkakwento galing sa ibang bansa. So I'm really fascinated na nag-reach out ka via the Gmail uh, account of uh, Philippine Camper Stories uh, mm-hmm. with your own experiences. And I understand that your stories are coming not from the Philippines, tama ba? Yeah, well, the story that I'm going to tell is like located here in Toronto. Um, this is a few years back. Um, but I have been not just curious about the paranormal, but I've been some, ever since when I was a kid, I've been seeing things that I couldn't fully explain. Um, sometimes may nakikita akong kasama um, uh, sa Provincia kasi namin is in Cebu, pero meron din kami provincia sa ano, uh, my hometown din kami sa Tarlac. Um, oh. So ever, ever since like when I was young, lalo na kapag mupunta sa hometowns, um, it's not just eerie for me, but sometimes I confuse ano yung totoo sa hindi. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's... That's interesting, Lars. Yeah. Um, si, k- kailan ka lumipat dyan sa Toronto? Oh, way back in 2006, I think. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. And how old were you nung uh, pumunta ka dyan? Right about 
so, teenage years mo na. No? So talagang medyo ano ka na, uh, medyo talagang yung foundation mo nung uh, lumipat ka diyan talaga. Kaya you you get to keep your um your language mm-hmm. uh, or language at na. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Alam okay. pa rin. Marunong pa rin. <laughs> so, uh, Tagalog, Tagalog pa rin ba sa bahay? Sa bahay, Tagalog pa rin. Um, I'm married now. Um, have a kid. And nagtatagalog pa rin kami sa bahay. <laughs> That's good. That's good to hear. Ayan. And, uh, ayan, uh, ngayon nakakapag-listen uh, ka pa sa mga content na Tagalog gaya ng Philippine Camper Stories. How did you find out about the mm. podcast? Yeah, I've always been interested um topics and podcasts about the paranormal and hearing stories and reading stories as well. Um, I used to listen to a lot of like English podcasts um, that the, uh, that talk about the paranormal. But I'm always interested in knowing like, no, iba pa rin mga stories back home. And I was on Spotify one night um, trying to find something to listen to. And um, I just typed in Filipino horror podcasts and your podcast came up quick um i started from episode one i'm like sige plugging in natin to <laughs> but uh, i've always been fascinated kasi um bihira na karinig ng ano ng tagalog na podcast that um and to hear horror and paranormal and you know and even murder mystery and all of that um so i'm really happy to find your podcast I'm, i've always been fascinated with like um how you get into the stories and and the stories you give uh give us give to us basically and um yeah so i'm, I'm pretty excited especially <laughs> you've reached out and i i was so ecstatic about it <laughs> yeah absolutely the podcast is a, a safe space just like i said just like mm-hmm. i always say sa intro it's a safe space para sa lahat ng mga gustong makinig sa atin so and it's a it's a space for everyone to share as well yung mga mm-hmm. story nila kasi that makes us a community lahat ng nakikinig uh, whenever people tell their stories just like you uh, will yeah. be doing later um, and they tend to share like sometimes kala mo yung story na tinatago mo parang sa yeah. lang na parang ganon yung pala parang marami rin palang nakaka-experience noon and yeah. you get to feel na you're in the same boat as everyone mm-hmm. else and di ba uh-huh. that's a nice feeling na parang may kasama ka pala dun sa mga feelings na nararamdaman mo just um, like most of us Uh, yes. here that listens to the podcast and I'm very happy validated. na na <laughs> yun tama na validate ka diba and uh na ngayon as um, you and I uh, na lumaki sa Pilipinas pero uh, naninirahan sa ibang bansa and katulad ng mga ibang nakikinig din diba? so, it's a way for us to um, reach back to our motherland and at least you know mm-hmm. kahit sa ilang minuto lang ng pakikinig uh, medyo parang nare-remind ka of what it's used to be like sa, sa Philippines diba? with exactly. all these stories so yeah mm-hmm. I'm very happy that Definitely. you're here <laughs> and uh, to um, give us your story for tonight, you reached out via the Gmail, just like I said earlier, na meron kang kwento tungkol this time, hindi naman sa Philippines nangyari. And uh, mm-hmm. do you mind uh, sharing or start to share your story with us, Lars? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, How did it start? 2000 and I think 2012 or 2013, I'm not too sure, but... Uh, That time, na sa, we we're still in, here in Toronto. Uh, my dad was still living. Uh, we were, I'm still living with my dad at that time. Tapos na katira kami sa isang lumipat kami sa isang apartment. And this apartment wasn't the flashiest. I mean, hindi naman siya yung pinakabago. Actually, lumang luma na. <laughs> And um, hindi namin inisip na there's something that's gonna happen there. And Uh, kasama ko yung um, kasama namin yung um, ma, uh, stepmother ko and I also have a stepsister as well and so coming into the place um, we didn't really feel anything weird until um, my dad works at night actually graveyard shift so alis siya ng bahay siguro mga 10.30 ng gabi tapos mm-hmm. like, start siya ng work ng mga 11 and a lot of times ako gising pa ako noon, mom ko gising pa, and um, last when it started, nung isang gabi na wala na ang dad, uh, tulog na rin ang kapatid ko, 
Tapos, yung kwarto kasi nila, uh, nasa tapat nila yung banyo. And mm-hmm. narinig na lang namin na nagbukas yung pintuan ng, ng, ng kwarto nila. Tapos narinig namin yung footsteps ng dad ko. Yung nakachinelas, naka tapos yung parang, yung parang, basta the way siya maglakad. Tapos, nagbukas yung pintuan, lumabas siya, tapos pumunta dun sa banyo. Mm-hmm. Tapos, hindi eh, parang nagulat kami kasi nanonood lang kami ng TV sa may living room noon. Hindi mo makikita yung, ano, yung kwarto from there. Pero may hallway ka muna makikita. And then you can see yung pina- end, pinaka-end noon yung kwarto nila at saka banyo. And so, nagtaka kami, nagtinginan kami na, wait, nandiyan ba si dad? Sabi namin. Pero nakita namin siyang umalis kanina. So pumunta kami doon para nandiyan to check ano nangyari. And... Doon nga, nakita na nga namin na nakabukas ang pintuan ng kwarto. Nakabukas din ang pintuan ng banyo. Hindi naman gawain ng dad ko yun. Lagi siya nagsasara ng pintuan. Um, and then, chinect na namin sa kwarto. Nakapatay ang ilaw, nakasara na yung mga blinds. And same thing sa, 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 ano, sa banyo. Wala naman tao. And tulog din ng kapatid ko <laughs> sa kabilang kwarto noon. So, at that time, Nagtaka din kami and stepmom ko ano um nakakaramdam din siya nakakita din siya I think more than me um mm-hmm. I mentioned earlier na bata pa ako na paminsan nalilito ako kung ano yung totoo ano yung totoong tao sa hindi um nasabi ko to, nasabi ko yun kasi nandun kami sa hometown ng ng dad side ko nung tinanong ko yung mom ko um kasama ba natin si lolo Yes. Uh, para kumain and yung nag, yung narinig ng mom ko yun nagulat siya kasi ang lolo ko sa dad side ko namatay na siya way way before I was born um, binata yeah. pa yung dad ko nung namatay siya so ako mm-hmm. alam kong lolo ko yun kasi nakita ko sa pictures uh, sa yeah. family pictures na siya si lolo pero at that time I'm not sure kung hanggang ako ka, ka Uh, katandaan pero sa akin akala ko totoong nandiyan siya kasama namin <laughs> mm-hmm. so I got confused when I was a kid mommy ma. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway um, so um, pag uh, nung pag ano mo nung pag check nyo na wala pala yung daddy mo nun mm-hmm. um, and it was parang hindi lang ikaw yung nakarinig ba diba? yes everybody in the house oh well at least your stepmom and yourself yeah. kasi tinug mm-hmm. yung isang kapatid mo diba yeah. so lahat ng gising ay sige um, yeah. narinig yon na kinonfirm niya sa iyo na narinig din niya yon or ikaw lang yung nakarinig both of us kasi nanonood lang kami ng TV noon my sister at that time was less than a year old and so hindi pa naman siya yung tipo naglalakad-lakad at that time mm-hmm. um, and Nanonood lang kami ng TV noon. I remember sa living room. And I think we were even um, eating snacks. When both of us, when we heard yung pagbukas ng pintuan, akala namin hangin lang or I don't know. Like yung, I don't know. Well, uh, there's something that opened the door. Sabay kami tumingin sa hallway <laughs> where the sound was coming from. Yeah. And hindi naman yung uh, apartment, apartment na kasi na yun. Maluma siya. Pero magandang insulation. So, meaning, hindi mo marinig masyado yung mga nasa labas. Mm. Kapag nakasaray mga, mga, mga bintana, you're not gonna hear anything sa labas or even dito sa, sa, sa ibang mga neighbors mo unless nakabukas yung pintuan ng main door. Um, yeah. And that was something na bewildered us kasi that really came inside the room, uh, mm. inside the house. And so, one of the first things na inisip talaga namin is like, nandiyan pa ba si dad? <laughs> Kala ko ba umalis na siya? And kung hindi, may tao ba na iba? Yun, exactly. That's yeah. what I was going to ask. Hindi ba kayo mm-hmm. natakot? Hindi ba kayo tumawag ng police? Kasi baka, oh, you, know, you know, parang is, um, step mo lang, tas dalawa kayong bata. Yeah. Um, so, mm-hmm. you know, parang dangerous. Parang... Hindi ba, yeah. nyo ba naisip na tumawag ng police or tawagan yung daddy nyo to confirm? Alam mo, muntik na kami tumawag ng police mm-hmm. until sinabi ng mom ko, Teka, nasa 7th floor tayo ah. <laughs> <laughs> so yung parang inisip na, 
paano makakaroon ng tao dito? Um, pero yun talaga yung na, 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 na bewilder kami kasi tunog ng chinelas ng dad ko yun eh. Mm-hmm. And hinanap pa ng mom ko kung nasan yung chinelas niya. Yung chinelas nandun sa kwarto, sa may by the bedside. Doon mm-hmm. na laging iniiwan yung pang bahay niya na chinelas. <laughs> uh, kasi yun talaga sa amin talaga namin may naglalakad na ba? Talagang nagtanong kami, like, naglalakad na ba yung kapadid ko? Like, ano nangyari? Yes. Bakit may mm-hmm. naglakad? And sinabi namin sa dad, hindi kami tumawag agad ng police, pero sinabi namin sa, sa dad sa, mm-hmm. uh, sa umaga when he came back. And parang ano lang siya, parang, oh talaga? Gumano lang siya. <laughs> so, I, I actually don't know kung naniniwala siya um, mm-hmm. sa amin at that time. So, when your um your dad came home the next morning or I guess the, you know, the day after. Mm-hmm. Um, napag-usapan ba? Napag-usapan. Um, mm. Sinabi namin na uh, both of us heard something last night. Mm-hmm. Lalo lumabas sa kwarto na katunog ng luwi mm-hmm. ka maglakad papunta dun sa banyo. Um, kasi yung dad ko, light sleeper yan. Nag-graveyard shift yan pero kapag Uh, natutulog yan, hindi siya nakakatulog ng derecho. A lot of times, gumigising yan para magbanyo. And so parang napaka-normal na marinig namin yun na maglalakad siya from the room to the mm-hmm. bathroom to us back again. Mm-hmm. And ganun na ganun yung the way siya maglakad. Uh, um, ang dad ko, sina- uh, that, that morning, sinabi ko rin sa kanya na, Dad, naalala mo ba? Sa Pilipinas pa tayo. Um, susunduin mo ako noon sa isang bahay ng kaibigan. Gabi na, doon ako nag-dinner. Tapos susunduin mo ako. Tapos, mm. nung, nung nag-text ka na sa akin na papunta ka na, bigla, kinukwento ko nung ulit sa kanila, bigla akong may narinig na tinatawag yung pangalan ko sa my gate. And boses ng dad ko. Tinatawag yung pangalan ko siguro twice tinasinabi niya yung pangalan ko. And then, ako nag-get ready na ako para uh, i-meeting dad ko sa labas. Madilim yung, hindi, hindi yung street kasi nila, hindi yung parang well lit. At talagang mm-hmm. madilim siya kapag gabi. Tapos yung ilaw nandun lang talaga sa bahay. Ang nakarinig din nun, yung tatay ng kaibigan ko. Um, both kami nakarinig. Ta- mm-hmm. Siya pa yung nagsabi sa akin, Lars, nandiyan na tayong papa mo. Oo nga po, mm-hmm. sabi ko. Uh, lalabas na po ako. Tapos, hinatid ako ng, ano, ng tatay ng kaibigan ko sa gate. Uh, parang, parang i-hand off ako. Tapos walang tao. Parang walang tao doon. Nasaan yung tatay mo nun at that time? At that time, nag-drive pa siya. Oh. At that okay. time, wala rin akong load masyado nun kaya hindi ako tamatawag. Mm-hmm. So, nag-text ulit ako, Dad, asan ka na? Pero, pinakita ko rin dun sa, sa, sa tatay na kaibigan ko na ito yung text ng dad ko, papunta pa lang siya. Sabi natin, wala pang 5 minutes or 10 minutes, biglang yun nga, narinig namin na tumawag siya. Okay. Yung tatay ng kaibigan ko, parang natakot na siya at that point. So, parang sabi ko, parang hindi ito, ordina- ay, parang ordinary ang nangyayari ba ito? <laughs> tapos, ang ginawa niya, pinasok ko ulit sa loob ng bahay, naglabas siya ng asin. Tapos, nandun siya sa labas lang ng bahay, parang nagtatapo na natin ng asin uh, sa front yard nila. Oh, Tapos, okay. dumating yung dad go 30 minutes after. Ganun ulit. Tinawag ako twice. At that time, yung tinawag na ako twice, hindi, hindi siya nag-text, nag, uh, nag, ano lang siya, dumating lang siya dun. Um, yung tatay tsaka nanay ng kaibigan ko, nilakad ako. <laughs> palabas ng gate nandoon na nga yung dad ko finally mm. eh, yun tuna to ko rin kay dad yun so parang ni-recall parang ni-recall ko lang yung time na yun sa Pilipinas nung nag-usap kami dito sa Toronto sabi ko hindi to yung first time na ginagaya ka ah, okay so parang ano parang alam mo yung parang sinasabi nilang skinwalker Nah. <laughs> That's so creepy nah, pero yeah. <laughs> yeah, parang ganun. Um anyway, um so yun yung first uh, story mo dun sa 
sa bahay na yun, mm-hmm. sa uh, house niyo sa Toronto. Um, yeah. Nasundan pa ba yun? Nasundan. Um, tumira kami doon siguro for about two and a half to three years uh, sa apartment na yun. Mm-hmm. Um, hindi naman to nangyayari every single time, pero sabi natin a few months after nung first incident namin ng gaya sa dad ko, um, yung nanay ko noon nasa nasa kusina siya uh, may niluluto lang siya pinaprepare para sa next day ako naman galing akong work noon kaya um, dumating siguro ako ng bahay siguro closer to ano na closer to 7 um, and sabi ko lang i-dip lang ako saglit mm-hmm. uh, dito man ako sa couch i-dip lang ako kasi pagod na pagod ako mm-hmm. and um, I think at that time, working student din ako noon. So I was in school uh, and okay. nag-work din ako. At anong nga sa nakit? Hey, how old are you nung <laughs> working student? Okay, okay. Yeah, I, was in, I think I was in college at that time. And, oh, uso naman uh, yan eh. Yeah, definitely. Lalo nito sa North America. Um, uh, Usang-uso ang pag-work, uh, working student. <laughs> para, may, para may pambili ng comics. <laughs> I know. <laughs> exactly. So... Yun nga, dumating ako noon, hindi mo na ako kumain, talagang pagod ako, I wanna take a nap. Tapos yung kitchen kasi, it's not, yung parang, na, it's, it's almost like an open concept. So makikita mo yung living room kung nasa kitchen ka, and vice versa. Hmm. So my mom was doing something, ako, um, I was trying to get to sleep, pero hindi ako makatulog. Hindi talaga ako, yung parang siguro kasi pagod ako, and adrenaline ko siguro mataas pa. Mm. And then, all of a sudden, naramdaman ko na lang na parang, alam mo yung parang kung focus ka sa isang bagay, tapos may lumapit sa likod mo. Yung parang, mm. you can feel na somebody's like, nandito. Behind you? And okay. habang nakahiga ako nun, I just felt something cold dito sa my right ear ko. And mm. then, parang nag-shift dito sa face ko. Sa akin naman parang, Oh, nandiyan yung nanay ko. Or mm. ginigising ba ako or something like that. Oh, y- your so, eyes were closed, right? My eyes were closed. Um, I wasn't listening to anything. Tapos hindi pa ako nakakatulog talaga nito. Very, very light pa lang yung ano ko nun. Nakapigit ka lang. Ko. Parang you were just Nakapikit trying lang. to close off. Parang pinipilit ko lang sa iyo kung ma- makapigit lang kahit pa paano. And then, binuka ko yung mata ko. Hindi ako tumawag agad. Parang I just opened up my eyes. Right away, nakita ko may mukha na babae sa hmm. my right side ko na nakatayo na parang nakatingin sa akin ng ganun. Hmm. Naka-lean naka sa akin ng ganun. And slowly siyang tumayo. Pero yung tumayo na siya, her face changed from a human face into something I couldn't understand. Na nakakatakot ang mukha niya. And at that point, I couldn't do anything but freeze. Because I thought it was my mom, like trying to wake me up for something. But mm-hmm. I saw her face. How do you buhok. describe the face, uh, the, the, the lady that you saw? You know, human, human, human face. Eh. Mm-hmm. I saw her mata, I saw her face, I saw her face. Pero, kita ko na sa may katawan niya, hindi siya buo. Na that I can see your shirt, I can see mm-hmm. your neck from here. Mm-hmm. Ang nakikita ko, parang tagos. So, oh, parang siyang may, may pagka-transparent yung katawan. And, mm-hmm. but the face, I can clearly see. Pero yung yes. katawan, it's a little bit more transparent. Tapos, yung, palayo, yung lumalayo na siya sa akin, nag lang siya. Tapos, hindi naman siya nagsalita. Pag, lean, pag, uh, pag tayo na niya, nagbago yung mukha niya. And this, I can't describe. Pero, hindi siya nagmukhang tao anymore. Na nagmukha siyang parang nagsunk, nagsink ang mata niya. Mm-hmm. Tapos, yung labi niya, parang nag, ang laki ng smile. Na parang hindi dapat normally <laughs> ganun kalaki yung smile. Oh, And okay. at that time, I was frozen. Pero yung nagbago na yung mukha niya, 
doon lumabas yung yung takot ko yung takot. and sumigaw ako Napa, napaupo na ako noon instantly nawala siya nung nangyari na yun mm. tapos habang I was still catching my breath narinig ko yung nanay ko sabi niya nakita mo rin yun <laughs> ay so eto na naman may shared experience na naman kami <laughs> na kaming dalawa lang or tatlo kasi yung sister ko nandun din pero kaming dalawa lang nakakita nito mm. and siya she was she, sabi niya naglalakad na siya papunta sa dining table nun which is mm. right behind me tapos napa napa titig na lang daw siya kasi may nakita siyang babae nga na para nakaluhod sa na nakalin mm. sa akin and then biglang nawala oh, tapos nagulat na lang okay. din siya na nakita ko rin pala So, okay. gano'n na naman. <laughs> Nag-usap na naman kami. <laughs> And parang, ano to? Bakit? Ano yung nakita mo? Tinanong din sa akin, ano nakita ko? Yeah. Tapos, siya rin, tinanong ko, ano nakita mo? Gano'n na gano'n yung nakita niya. Pero, nakatalikod. So, hindi na nakita yung mukha. Ako yung mm-hmm. nakita ng mukha. And, I, we thought from that point, I think our place is haunted. <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> Um, baka naman uh, ano, 'di ba parang kasi hindi naman talaga sa inyo yung bahay and uh, medyo uh, ano rin yung house no parang may iba na ring gumamit. So yeah. could be could be um, I don't know, a guardian or an entity that lives in the same unit that you Probably. are. Yeah. And they were curious kung sino ba to? <laughs> sino ba tong ayun na to? Diba? That was a few months, diba? Sabi yeah. mo, after the first incident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Nako. Eh, paano ka makakatulog nun? <laughs> eh, oh, no. Ang hirap matulog nun. Hindi kami natutulog ng nakapatayang ilaw. Mm. Um, at some point, hindi sila natutulog. Yung dad and mom ko, ayun doon nila matulog sa kwarto. Ako, hindi ako natutulog sa kwarto. Two Saan bedroom. Saan natutulog? So, two bedroom apartment siya. Um, ako dapat yung sa isang bedroom sila sa isa mm. um, ayaw ko matulog sa kwarto na yun kasi I feel uneasy tsaka may nanggigising sa akin sa gabi kapag nandun ako sa kwarto na yun what do you mean? so whenever nandun ako hindi naman ako nakakaroon ng mga bangungot um, honestly I don't even remember a lot of my dreams um I'm not that kind of person who remembers my dreams as much. <laughs> yes. Um, pero Jimmy. kapag nandun ako, <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, <laughs> pero kapag nandun ako, mm-hmm. lagi akong kinakabahan. Laging parang may nakatingin sa akin. Mm-hmm. And kung tututin, napaka-normal lang ng, ng room na to. May bintana, may malit na closet. There's nothing really special about it. Pero mm-hmm. I feel so enclosed kapag nandun ako sa room na yun. So I started sleeping in my living room and mm-hmm. this is like probably the first month na lumipat kami sa apartment na to um, pero yung nangyari yung second uh, uh, second incident na nangyari after that mm-hmm. hindi na talaga ako lumipat sa sa room noon kasi I feel like kapag nandun na ako mag-isa baka bibisit ay nolit ako na babae <laughs> tapos like a few weeks after that yung parents ko Paminsan naglalatag na rin sila ng, ng hingaan din sa living room. Kasi parang hindi rin sila, an, an, parang uneasy na rin sila doon sa room nila. <laughs> oh my God, that's, ano, no? that's very inconvenient. The bahay niyo yun eh. It should be the the place where you can rest. Exactly. Uh, Di ba, ano? Um, mm. So, what, what did you do? Um, anong ginawa niyo? Meron ba kayong, syempre, uh, natakot lang naman talaga kayo wala rin naman siyang ginawa tiningnan lang naman kayo pero still exactly. yeah. that's very intrusive kasi that's your that's mm-hmm. your place unang una and um, nakakatakot naman talaga diba na parang bigla na lang yeah. may uninvited guest mm-hmm. um, anong may ginawa ba kayo um, to address the the fear well first hindi ako yung tipong naniniwala agad I tend to try to debunk things on my own first. Um, una, akala ko talaga dahil pagod ako nun uh, lang gabing yun. Mm. Dahil um, I was trying to sleep 
maybe nakatulog na ako na hindi ko lang alam. You know, it could be imagination. And yeah. frankly, it looked like it was my imagination. Kasi how often do you see someone transparent tapos maghiba pa yung mukha niya right in front of you? Mm. Hindi na sana maniniwala eh. Kahit na nakita ko na yun in uh, like vision, like it was my own eyes. Pero hindi ko ma-discount yung experience din ng mom ko na nakikita din niya exactly what I'm seeing. So that builds up the theory na maybe there is something in here. Um, mm. Nagtanong-tanong kami um, sa mga kapitbahay and sometimes we have a shared um, yung apartment namin didn't really have our own like washer dryer in the space so doon kami sa bababa sa bababa gumagamit din and there's other yeah. people who use it mm. may mga matatanda na nakatira uh, sa apartment na yun na tinanungan namin like oh ganun okay. na kayo kapag nakatira dito and mm. all of that and sabi nila yeah tinayo ito ng mga 70s pa okay. and at that time state of the art pa tong building na to and it was a condominium before it became like um, uh, an apartment in a way and sila yung mga first residents daw doon uh, ever since hindi na sila lumipat binili they bought their own um, unit in there and so they've seen everything um, with how how the neighborhood changed um, dati halos ilan lang yung mga bahay doon ngayon ang dami na a lot more people came in um, um, and then that brought a lot of like Um, stories, a lot of like experiences and energy and all that. Yeah. And so, naisip din namin na, yes, dahil sa kalumaan lang talaga siguro, kaya ganito. Pero, since it's an apartment, hindi namin makakausap yung nakatira dito dati sa unit na to. So, unfortunately, we couldn't get any stories. Um, Other than so, that. Yeah, yeah, kahit yung, ano, kahit yung uh, property manager, wala naman siya mabigyan na stories Um, from the previous uh, people who live in our unit. Kung ano yung history noon, like sinto nila doon, we don't know. So we're coming in yeah. blind, mm-hmm. really. Pero hindi pa kami nagpa-bless agad ng bahay. Uso-uso <laughs> 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 so, ba yung um, pa-bless, ganyan? Not so much. I mm-hmm. guess, depende na lang sa belief mo. Um, mm-hmm. Hindi yung parang predominantly kasi sa Pilipinas um, mm. or either Muslim or uh, um, uh, Catholic or Muslim and a lot of times um, Catholics would get their place blessed. Um, kami, hindi naman namin inisip yung ganun. So we just moved in. Mm. But then, hindi naman inisip na we're gonna stay here for a long time due to the place na to. And yeah. nakala na kami, like, oh, ano lang to? So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're transitioning. Kasi ang parents ko nun, they're already thinking about moving out of the province, getting out of Toronto. Mm. Um, so parang ito yung place of transition lang namin talaga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, saan bang place ba ito sa Toronto? Baka may mga kasama tayong nakikinig. Oh! <laughs> kasi same place. Kasi marami tayong um, listeners from Canada. Baka naman there. Mm-hmm. Just in the same community or close by. Sure. So, this is located in Weston and Finch. Um, there's three big apartments you're gonna see. Um, high-rise apartments you're gonna see from afar. I'm, mm-hmm. I was living in one of those before. Oh. Um, very old when you see them from afar kitang kita mo pa talaga na luma na ang structure na yan and okay, okay. yeah well um is that all that happened in that apartment or meron unfortunately pong... no um <laughs> it got worse and worse from that point um okay pero hindi agad siya nangyari um mm-hmm. it took weeks again or months after that Mm-hmm. Um, the third thing that happened was probably one of the scariest ones because involved ako, ang, ang mom ko and yung sister ko at, least, at that time. Um, your, young, your young sister. Exactly. Very young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at that time, we were preoccupied with our sister. Um, uh, she hasn't been doing well and my sakit siya at that time and Um, so we were in and out of the hospital and going to therapists and specialists. Um, and so we were preoccupied. And basically, in life, we were 
Parang nakapagpunta Tutok. kanya. <laughs> we move mm-hmm. um, schedules just for her. And okay. at that time, nasa, nasa living room lang kami. Um, I think we were just playing. And um, we were just like watching. The TV was on. Um, dad ko nun, um, I believe my dad was still sleeping at that time. So during the day and, uh, or closer to evening at that. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, ako at saka mom ko, parang may naramdaman kami na parang malamig. Na nag-iba yung hangin sa bahay. Na parang di ko ma-explain yun. Kasi hindi naman gumagalaw yung mga curtains at that time. Pero lumamig. Mm-hmm. May, may electric fan, but we don't have an air conditioner. Um, and then all of a sudden, may gumalaw and made a noise. Tapos napatingin kami sa corner ng living room na yun. Sa living room kasi na yun, um, in that corner, nandun yung um, desk, laptop, uh, parang desk for your laptop. And then right underneath that, it's pretty much empty. It's just the floor. Pero right underneath that, there's a figure na naka, naka upo siya sa floor with its knees up close naka to crouch. Head. Now uh, crouching and going, and then looking at us, and then uh, and ang immediately na nakita namin. Shit, kini lebuta na ako. <laughs> <laughs> ang immediately na nakita namin are its eyes. It's like glowing red, looking mm-hmm. straight at us. Tapos at that time, nakaupulang kami sa floor at anon with my sister, mm. and then. Ang ginawa agad ng mom ko, kinuha niya agad yung kapatid ko. Yeah. Kasi, it felt like it was a bad intent. Na oh, nandun siya. Okay. Hindi siya yung parang nanonood lang. And this is the first time we're seeing this. Yeah. Um, kasi, when I, when I look back sa mga experiences ko, da, experiences ko dati sa Pilipinas, if I go to a certain place, and familiar na ako sa place na yun, I would get to know the spirits that live in that place. So parang alam ko na may ganito dito na spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And sometimes nakikita ko pa rin from time to time kapag bibisita ako doon. Ang nagulat ako dito sa apartment namin, yung mga nakikita namin dito, parang first time ko lang nakikita. Pero, if I try to search for them, hindi ko nakikita. Okay. So, you know, mm-hmm. so talagang hindi siya taga doon? Yan ang akala ko. Or hindi siya nagpapakita na, <laughs> sa'yo. Oo, oh, yung parang siguro nadala ba siya somewhere na <laughs> nadala mm. namin sa bahay. I don't know. Pero ito natakot kami kasi both ako and mom ko nakita namin ulit itong entity na to. And nakakrouch lang siya dun underneath dun sa table na yun. And to this day, um, nakalipat na sila. Na, they're outside of Toronto. Pero kapag may bisita ako sa kanila, nandun pa rin yung table na yun. Na. Pero naka, nasa storage unit na lang siya. <laughs> Hindi na siya ginagamit mm. ever since. Mm. Pero from time to time, sinasabi yun namin, oh, nalala mo yan. <laughs> <laughs> Parang may story kayo na, na naka-attach yeah. dun sa desk na yun. No? Yeah. Um, what happened after nung nakita nyo yun? Then, na-alert yung mom mo, ikaw? Yes. What It's happened? Did, did you leave the house? Yeah, so parang it stayed there for a minute. Wala namang ginawa. Wala namang ginawa sa amin, pero nandun siya. Pero Ang the samal- feeling was malevolent. Exactly. It felt really malevolent na if we don't get go away, something might happen. Parang ganun ang naging oh, okay. fight, fight or flight instinct mo nun. Um, right after that, um, I attended a church back then where um, I told the pastor about like what happened uh what's been happening sa bahay and we got the place blessed um may pumunta doon may like pray over um mm-hmm. so we felt uh, at peace in a way na okay this happened na so hopefully wala na mangyari ulit mm-hmm. um pero yung next na nangyari ba meron pa Um, <laughs> but I think the last, siguro, last few things that happened, because at that time, 
mag-isa ako sa bahay, gagaling ko lang ng work at anon. And hapon yun, siguro mga two or three, naka-uwi na ako nun. Walang tao mm-hmm. sa bahay, umalis ang parents ko, sister ko. So, kumain ako nun, nandun ako sa living room, nandun na ako ng Netflix. Um, and then all of a sudden, naririnig ko dun sa second bedroom, yung um, doorknob, na parang may nag-open. Mm. And I was like, okay, um, what is this? Sabi ko ganun. Na, I had to like pause, kung ano yung pinapanood ko, kasi parang hindi, parang hindi ata to dun sa labas, sa kapitbahay, parang hindi ito to, sabi ko. And then, dun ako, kinakilibutan na ako. Then sabi ko, ano na naman to. <laughs> uh, um, hindi siya, like, tuloy-tuloy. Yung parang, every now and then, every few minutes, may mag, uh, mag-shuffle or mag, uh, mag-turn ng knob. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I can hear it, na palakas ng palakas, sabi ko. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, okay. Um, ganun ulit, nagpa-play sa utak ko. Uh, may tao ba dito? Wala. So, tinatawa ko, Dad, Ma'am, dumatawag ako ganun para wala sa mga mm. Nasa living room pa rin ako noon. Pero, ang ginawa ko noon ito, pumunta ako sa malapit sa my hallway para makita ko kung aling doorknob yung binubuksan or tinatry buksan. And nakita ko nga sa bedroom, sa second bedroom, uh, kung saan dapat ako nagsistay. <laughs> Tapos nakikita ko talaga na gumaganon yung doorknob. Oh. And I was like, oh. Okay, this is not good. And naka-close ang lahat, lahat ng mga doors noon. Naka-close sila. Um, I turned on all the lights sa, sa hallway. I was like, okay. Um, punta na natin daw. Pero, like, at that time, I didn't even think about, like, bringing my phone or, <laughs> like, naka-standby uh, 911. Hindi. <laughs> I don't know what brought me. <laughs> ano, ano yung nag nag er, nag nag ano, nag push sa akin para gawin to pero pinuntahan ko yung kwarto and then yung nandun na ako nakatayo na ako sa door na yun tumigil tumigil yung pag uh, pag oh, ano ng nap and then at that time I really wanted to see kung ano yung nasa loob hmm. and then I did when I opened the door ang dilim ng kwarto pero kahit ma- nakasara yung mga curtains noon, yung blackout blinds, may ilaw sa hallway, nagsish- yun yung nagsishine ng light siguro ko sa room, Maki- nakita ko na lang sa corner ng room na yun, right across me, was this figure that was standing from the floor all the way to the ceiling. To the point na sa sobrang laki niya, na parang nakaganan siya. May parang, parang nakalin na rin siya sa sobrang mm-hmm. laki niya. Hindi siya, kasha, siya ka, naka hindi siya ka siya. And it's a dark figure na hindi ko makita yung mukha. Yeah. But alam ko nakatingin siya sa akin. And at that time, siguro adrenaline na lang din siguro to can't mm. answer, pero kinausap ko, like, what are you doing here? Anong ginagawa mo dito? Like, iwanan mo na kami. Yung parang, mm. somehow, siguro pagod na pagod na ako na nangyayari na naman itong mga ganito. Akala ko ba napabless na namin? Mm-hmm. And then I see this hooded figure, um, this dark figure um, mm-hmm. in that corner. And then all it said to me was leave. <gasps> Hello. Ako, ang dapat umalis daw. <laughs> Pinapaalis ka? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did you understand the word? Is it English? Leave or? Leave in English. Yeah. Uh, okay. I thought I was imagining it. Mm. Pero I literally heard that say leave. Mm. And then at that point all I remember was that I woke up half of my body was I was still in the door at that time but half of my body was in the room half in the hallway. <laughs> Yung ul- I, I, black, I blacked out. Oh, huh? I know. From that point. Um, Oh, okay. All I remember was that ang init-init sa kwarto na yun na parang napaka-humid ng hangin na nandun. And then, nakita ko yung figure na yun. Mm. Nakasara lahat ng bintana, curtains and everything. 
And then I woke up. I was on the floor. Uh, when I woke up, nakabukas na pa yun yung mga uh, curtains. Naka, pero nakasara yung windows. Nakaopen mm-hmm. ang curtains. And then when I woke up, it's almost like I was so terrified. Kasi yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm. I blacked out. I'm mm-hmm. like, what just happened? Parang ganun. And naram- nakita ko na lang, nandun pa rin ako sa kwarto or nasa hallway. Mm-hmm. And then at that time, tinatawag ko sila, ma'am. Like, yung, yung dad ko or mom ko, kung nandyan na sila, pero wala pa. It wasn't even like probably 20 or 30 minutes have passed ever since uh, when I entered the room or when I when I got uh, when I got home, and so that's the part where I had a personal experience in there that I can't fully debunk. Mm-hmm. Um, did it happen because it is actually an entity that I saw, or you know? I don't know, gutom ba ako? <laughs> Pero, <I'm good. laughs> I've never blacked out like that before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yun ang ano ko doon is like, yeah, like, anong, ano nangyari? Ba't bigla na lang ako nang black out? Nakakatakot. Mm. Yeah, like, sa sobrang takot ba yun? Or, mm. parang naalala ko talaga na kahiga na lang ako sa floor. And, halos wala na nangyari after that. Pero, kuminento ko to sa parents ko. And, yung mom ko yung nag-worry talaga. Kasi, mm-hmm. sabi niya, niya, talagang kala natin umalis na dito. Uh, hindi na talaga to magandang tirahan. Um, yeah. And mm-hmm. fortunately for them, um, yeah, malapit na silang aalis nun, papunta ng ibang province. I I chose the same Toronto. Um, hindi ako sa mama sa parents ko. I just want to live by my own and do what I need, do what I want to do. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So at that time, um, umalis na rin ako ng apartment. Um, nag-renta rin ako somewhere else. Tapos bumibisita na lang ako uh, after that uh, mm-hmm. sa bahay. Um, until makaalis na ang parents ko sa Toronto. And so far, I didn't really have any experience there uh, after that. Pero mm-hmm. yun siguro yung experience na nag mas lalong na push ang parents ko na parang there's really something happening dito sa bahay na to. Mm-hmm. Um, pero yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, grabe. Hindi ko parang da- dalawang beses ang kinilabutan dun sa, <laughs> dun sa batang naka, naka-crouch and then yeah. dun sa hooded figure yung naka, medyo naka-hunch na mm-hmm. na figure dun sa ano. So, pero talaga nakakatakot naman kasi yung nangyari sa'yo and yung um, especially yung factor na nag-blackout ka kasi hindi mo ma-account yung no. yung yeah. minutes na lumipas bag, pagka nung huli mong natandaan tsaka yung waking memory mo after, di ba? So, yeah. parang what what happened, di ba? Mm-hmm. Tapos, mag, mag-isa ka, di ba? Sa bahay? Yeah. Mag-isa lang ka sa bahay. bahay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's nakakatawa talaga. And the, the fact lang na parang um, yung may mga naririnig kayo, ganyan, na parang hindi nyo nakikita kasi parang medyo troublesome yun kasi bahay, unang-una, kasi you, mm-hmm. you need to feel at ease and, uh, you know, the secure and safe sa sarili mong bahay, diba? So, that's why parang in... Uh, I, I can definitely... <laughs> I can definitely sense na parang there are some uh, creatures na um, ayaw kayong patuloyin or mm-hmm. pa, pagpatuloy na uh, mag-stay dun sa bahay na yun. And for some reason, nung kinikwento mo yun, yung... Uh, yung last story mo. Parang, ang nag, uh, register sa akin is, um, parang an angel. Mm. For some reason, angel. Um, I don't know. And then, nung, nung nag, um, back away ka a little bit, nag darken yung, ano mo, yung screen mo. And I don't know if it's, um, it's just, you know, a thing or, but, uh, mm. definitely weird. <laughs> na parang, definitely all this, weird. all this time, yeah. ang liwa-liwanag mo and I don't know what happened in your lighting but biglang dumilim nung, oh. <laughs> nung, nung moment na yung last, last story mo when you, you were just about to, um, yeah. enter the door. <laughs> biglang dumilim yung screen mo and, 
I have a recording. I don't know if I caught that. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, after nung lumabas kayo nung apartment na yun, tumira ka somewhere else, did you happen to have more experiences outside the apartment? It's almost like a regular occurrence to me. Um, I can't say for sure. Um, kasi ako rin eh, I'm curious din ako. Um, kasi a lot of times I can see, I can send, mm-hmm. um, but I can't always tell kung, you know, I'm seeing something that's paranormal. Mm-hmm. Um, akala ko sa Pilipinas ko lang to may experience lagi, pero it happens every single day for me. Um, alam ng wife ko na I can see mm-hmm. and usapan na namin na kapag may makita ako, huwag niyang... Huwag sa sumisahan <laughs> ayaw nang malaman ayaw nang makita unless tatanong is she tatanong. sensitive as well or she can actually um, not always but she can sense um, and there are sometimes na paminsan um, titingin siya sa akin mm-hmm. and may parang meron na kanyang parang look together na parang okay something fast may nangyari and I wouldn't say anything unless she would also ask me about it or shut in mm. my I know I mean if it feels in chat but for her and you should not eat that um but on a consensual not but I mean there's something off with this uh, place of the all right and you don't have that in your home I assume no uh where we live all right man all right man no um, I know na, na kaka, um, because uh, always in the movies they were parang kapag ka meron ganyang mga parang Uh, troubled houses. Mm-hmm. Usually, you the um, the story would be parang the family living in it is mm-hmm. troubled themselves. Parang sila sila yeah. mismo may mga personal issues. And yeah. parang sa inyo ba meron ba kayong, Would you looking back or uh, would would you have yeah. parang negative energies within the family that bounce off that kind of invites? mga gantong klaseng entities or just a regular family occurrences lang naman? Wala no, I, I feel like yeah, I agree. I agree with that too. Na, um, when something negative happens or um, that's been given off, um, that will also attract whatever energy as well. And mm. we haven't really been um, at that time um, the best communicators in the family and Um, may mapinagdadaanan din ako personally at that time too. So, yeah, there had there had been a series of clashes between me and my dad, my mom, mm-hmm. and um, so I think that also invited whatever that was in there or nasama mm-hmm. uh, what whatever that may <laughs> that may mean. But mm-hmm. um, I'm pretty sure uh, we had a factor to that too. Nung tumira ba kayo nung, to, nung, nung moment na yun, um, was that your first apartment out of, when, when you migrated to Canada no. from the Philippines? O may no. natirahan pa kayong iba? No, may natira ng iba. Uh, my dad mm-hmm. came to Canada first. Um, he um, um, he uh, took me after. Um, I traveled by myself going to Canada when, Canada when Wait, I was 15. Okay. Um, <laughs> That was pretty fun. <laughs> um, first flight? First flight ba yun? No, not really. It's like first international. Hmm. Okay. Nawala si Lars. Um, tuloy pa rin naman yung recording natin. So, uh, not sure, Lars, if he's coming back. We'll wait. I guess... Pero mga bagay na ay ipakwento, but no. Hey Lars, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> right, that usually happens. Um, okay. Hindi na ako surprise. <laughs> Sorry, not sure what happened point. there, but anyway. <laughs> um, it's okay. Um, right, um, I was just gonna ask kung... Um, ito ba yung first apartment yung coming from the Philippines? Or at least for you? No. Lumipat-lipat na rin kami. Um, 
both apartments and houses uh, that time. So, okay. siguro pangatlong place na to mm-hmm. na tinirhan namin. Um, before, like, um, I branched off of my dad's. Okay. The reason I'm asking is because nakausap ko minsan si Mark Nazal. Siya yung uh, founder ng Diwata Comics. And it's uh, it's mm. an independent um, uh, comic uh, uh, company sa Los yeah. Angeles. May, meron siyang sinabi sa akin ng one interview namin na parang um, ang mga Filipinos daw kasi is they, we, we often migrate, diba? Because Philippines yeah. is usually not the best country to live in kapag ka Uh, hindi ka mayaman. So, uh, kaya, ayan, tayo, uh, uh, napupunta tayo sa ibang lugar and find, uh, you know, um, uh, another life. Mm-hmm. And, uh, sa, may, sinab- may sinabi siya sa akin na parang na- natandaan ko. And parang, kung ang mga Filipinos daw ay lumilipat ng ibang bansa, bakit hindi yung mga creatures na nasa Philippines or like yung mga entities, yeah. mga spirits na nasa atin na bakit, mm-hmm. what's keeping them na mm-hmm. bakit, hindi, bakit hindi sila pwedeng sumama, di ba? And it could be true. Like baka yeah. yung mga spirits na nakikita nyo, nakikita natin, ay baka mga dala-dala pa natin from wherever we came from originally. So mm-hmm. <laughs> baka mm-hmm. mamaya dala 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 niya rin. Pero I wouldn't say that to the last uh, experience you shared kasi parang pinapalis kayo dun sa bahay. Baka sila naman yung, sila yung talagang original na nandun. Pero right. naisip ko lang yun na parang it might not be applicable to you. Pero yeah. yung parang kung may dala dala kang guardian or spirit or spirit guide mm. from another place where you came from, yeah. from Cebu or um from Tarlac wherever you yeah. uh, wherever you spent your life before Canada might be mm-hmm. you know something to think about diba oh yeah definitely and i think that i'm someone who could sense and feel uh, sorry sense and see more pero we don't know everything um nagugulat pa rin ako at some point na may nakikita ako um from someone um na I kind of believe na sometimes may mga nadadala nga tayo. Um, just a short example. Um, may kaibigan ako um, dito sa, tra- sa Toronto na one time yung nag, uh, um, kumain kami sa labas, nagulat na lang ako kasi mm-hmm. may sumusunod sa amin um, na being. May entity na sumusunod sa amin habang naglalakad kami. Mm-hmm. And public place to, um, actually we were like walking in um, one of the streets. Papa na din sa kakainan namin, may sinusunod sa likod namin. Mm-hmm. And alam kong hindi to sa mama sa akin, pero parang sa mama at ato sa kaibigan ko. Kasi ever since ako makain kami, nandun mo siya sa likod niya mm-hmm. the whole time. And hindi ko naman tinatanong kung ano to. <laughs> pero alam ko nandyan siya sa likod niya the whole time. So mm-hmm. I totally believe that. Kung may may nadala ba tayo, I'm just not sure kung paano, kung nagtatago ba ito mga ito, or <laughs> hmm. how. Saan sila nakatatch? <laughs> Every single time. Uh, sometimes, mag-shock na lang later on. Um, within a certain situation. Uh, um, but yeah. Sorry, Lars, medyo nag-ano ka. Um, I think the reception's getting bad. Hey, Lars, can you hear me? Ayan, second time nang nawala ni Lars. Uh, we're just gonna wait for him to come back. And uh, we'll see. We can finish the episode. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, yeah, I guess that's all. Uh, that's all the, the the time that we have. Um, but thank you so much for um, sharing those stories. Napaka <laughs> major creepy siya talaga. <laughs> na kinilabutan na ako. Sarat ako talk for a little there. Um, do you have anyone that you'd like to say hello to? But Ian, a shout out or any messages to the campers that would be listening to this episode. 
Maybe nothing, uh, no one to really shout out to. Um, pero, um, no, I just want to thank you and thank um, uh, other campers then for um, creating this community. And this is not just a podcast for me. I, I treat it as a community where um, I can share experiences. I hear experiences from other people and kind of validate validate what I'm feeling and what you said earlier then uh, um, it's a safe space and I really thank you for that um, and everybody else is also keeping this as a safe space um, to share these experiences and, uh, not a lot of times we can explain <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm really thankful for that um, I do have more stories but maybe I can reserve that in the future uh, more so to the human um, so yeah I just want to say thank you Thank you then sa pag uh, pag guest mo tonight and <laughs> buti nakatapos tayo ng episode without, <laughs> without losing you. Um, but yeah, um, if ever that um, any one of the listeners, any of the campers who listens to this and you have stories to tell, feel free to uh, reach back just like um, Larson did uh, sa campfirestoriesph at gmail.com and uh, thank you Larson for your stories for tonight and being part of the San Telmo Society Radio awesome okay <laughs> Ingat ka, Lars. Yeah, nice, nice meeting you bye nice meeting you too take care bye 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 Maraming salamat muli sa ating kasamang camper na si Larson for that San Telmo Society story Dito na po nagtatapos ang ating kwento. Pagkatapos ang episode na ito ay pwede kang sumali sa kwentuhan by going to Spotify Q&A portion ng episode na ito. Doon, nagsashare kami ng mga kasama nating campers ng kanilang mga thoughts about the episode. Just remember to be kind whenever you share your thoughts dahil ang podcast na ito ay mananatiling safe space for everyone. Kung gusto mo naman supportahan ang show by giving monetary tips, you can do that by joining our Patreon and Coffee. fi Yan yung mga sites kung saan naglalagay ako ng mga extra content for the podcast listeners when I can. Kung may access ka naman via PayPal or Gcash and you feel like gusto mo akong ilibre ng kape to help me create these episodes, ay pwedeng pwede mong gawin yan by checking our PayPal and Gcash accounts sa episodes show notes. Pumunta ka lang sa Spotify and click on the description of the episode at makikita mo lahat ng link na kailangan mo. At panghuli, kung may kwento ka naman na gusto mong ibahagi sa ating camp ay pwede mong isend yan sa campfirestoriesph at gmail.com at babasahin natin yan sa mga susunod na San Telmo Society Radio episodes. Muli, maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig. Magkita na lang tayo sa susunod na kwento. Ako si Earl at ito ang San Telmo Society Radio segment and Philippine Camper Stories. <laughs>